here. We all know we have a great culture. We all know there's a lot of positive things. We just came up short on the, the winning column this year. Um, and you can make excuses. Uh, we could talk about injuries. We could talk about that type of adversity to some of our elite players on this football team. But uh, this is the NFL. Um, we finished 7 and 10. Um, let's use that, put a little chip on our shoulders, you know? I'm still saying we, as you guys can tell. I want to be a Viking next year. Yeah, I mean, let me, <laughs> let me follow up on that. I mean, will the 2024 Vikings include Dalton Reisner? Uh, you know, man, I've, I've only been able to be a Viking for four months, but I love it here. So it, you guys know it's, it's not, everything's not my choice. Um, I would love to be a Viking. If they give me the opportunity to be back and be the left guard for the Minnesota Vikings, man, I'll hop on that like that. So, uh Let's put it in their hands. <laughs> All right, but what if somebody blows you away with a financial offer that you just can't refuse? <laughs> you put me on the spot here. All right, let me call my agent slash lawyer. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I w want to be a Minnesota Viking. So, of course, um, if, if I hit free agency, if the Vikings let me hit free agency, there's going to be a lot of other teams involved. I still want to be a Minnesota Viking, though. So, every, it, you never know what's going to happen, man. If I learned anything leaving Denver, um, free agency went nothing like I planned. I, I control nothing. Um, what Jesus has in store for my life, I think, is already set in stone. And I'm just praying that next year you guys are coming up to me and asking if you can do another interview in front of this locker, man. Um, but if we're not, I think we'll all still be good friends. And if I come to visit U.S. Bank on another team, you guys come hop on over. I'll give you an interview, man. It'll be fun. I mean, is the key, I mean, regardless, I mean, one way or another, just to have some closure, like a little bit earlier than last year, like so you can yeah. have like OTAs, oh my gosh. mini camp. All there, that will stuff. there will be, there will be, there um, will be. There will, it will not be another. Well, I don't want to say that because Jesus has a funny way of uh, doing things differently. But I would so love if two weeks into March, I am on a team. I know where I'm going. I can get my stuff together. My poor wife doesn't have to haul a U-Haul across the country in the middle of September um, and live in a tiny apartment, you know. Um, but it was a blessing. It's like, you know, some people say like sometimes those times in life where you get hit in the mouth and you just don't expect anything are sometimes the greatest moments. Like, man, I came off of a seven month period where I felt like the world had forgotten about me as a football player. And I've worked really hard my whole entire life from a small town, blue collar guy to be where I was at. And I feel like no one cared about me. Um, I had a really hard stuff going on in my family. Um, really, really hard stuff. And I was at a time in my life where I just really felt unwanted and unworthy. And the Minnesota Vikings, you guys, this organization, blessed me with an opportunity to come here and have a really awesome redemption story. Um, I'm not talking a Super Bowl right now. I'm not talking playoffs or a Pro Bowl or an All-Pro. That doesn't matter, though. Uh, the redemption that happened this year, to be able to come here and be the starter for the Minnesota Vikings and play football again and gain that love for the game again and be welcomed with open arms by this whole organization and by these my teammates, was just uh, a huge blessing. So I'm just really, really thankful. Is everything okay now on the family front? You know, life is tough, man. Life is tough. And uh, there's all sorts of stuff that go on in this world. And no, I wouldn't say things are, are perfect, but you know, it's everyone has a story. You look around and you look at people in the eye and you know, everyone's got something going on. Um, but I have my wife, I go home to her and my dog, my firstborn son, Moko, um, and I love him so much. So really grateful for that. She's my number one support system. And Jesus also never left me in those times, man. He, he always told me I was enough, always told me I was loved when I felt, when I didn't feel that from the world. And I gained an opportunity to come out here every single Sunday. And I hope you guys were able to see it and really empty my tank. And People ask, why do you run down field? Why do you do that? Like, the, it plays over. Like, you're just helping them up. Like, you're wasting energy. Well, you know what, man? I made a promise to myself that when I left this facility that I'd be able to look back and see I gave every ounce of everything my whole year. And I don't care what's to come. I don't care what is to come in the next six months. If I've learned anything, it's to enjoy where I'm at now. And I look back and I emptied my clip, emptied my tank this year um, as a Minnesota Viking. And year five is my favorite year in the NFL, and it probably will be for the rest of my career. Dalton, why is it important to you to, to um, share your faith as, you. as part of your story publicly? You know, I just, I feel like I'm here because of Jesus. I feel like we all here, we all are. Um, I'm so blessed. I didn't work hard to be six foot five, 300 pounds, um, 315 pounds. Why don't you cut back a little bit? But uh, I'm just so extremely blessed um, from Jesus, and that's the reason I believe I'm down here. It's the reason that I feel like I wake up every single day. I want to be more like my faith. I want to replicate that. I want to be kind to people and love people. And I don't know, I guess it's just the most important thing to me. It's what I'm grounded in. That's what, that's where my identity lies. I wake up every day and people tell me I'm a football player. People tell me I'm this and that, but I know I'm just a child of God like everyone else is. So it's just, 
I don't know, I want to just make Jesus proud, I guess. I'm just like, you know, I want, I want Jesus to be smiling down, so I hope that's what I'm doing.